Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple of tips and tricks in order to uh, get uh, good results uh, with the Boolean operation. Uh, the Boolean operation scares a lot of people because of the re reputation it gets for messing up your mesh. But uh, if you if you do a, a bit of a pre-planning and um, follow a couple of basic principles, you should be uh, getting good results and um, clean meshes just like the example right here. You can clearly see right here this uh, pretty clean shape and uh, an all-quad-based topology. Let me show you what this looks like uh, uh, without the subdivision surface. So you can clearly see this is attached um, pre pretty good to this uh, curved surface right here. And I'm going to be showing you how to uh, attach or subtract or intersect uh, shapes uh, on curved surfaces uh, using the Boolean operations. So I have made uh, a shape right here before and I'm going to be taking this as an example for today's tutorial. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be attaching a, a, a cylinder to this curved surface using the boolean operation and the union mode. So uh, I'm going to add a, a cylinder for start. I got eight sides. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm also going to what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to head over to snap this to my viewport right here and move this up. I'm going to change my shading mode to this wireframe mode, and I'm going to try to uh, align it, you know, facing the curve right here. So I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this down a little bit. So make sure one thing, uh, one thing you need to keep in mind is you need to uh, follow the edge flow or the topology of uh, the mesh that you're trying to attach it to. So I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, align this line with this line right here, and these uh, with these uh, vertices and lines right here. So I'm going to scale this up and move it around until I am satisfied with the result. So you can also uh, do a bit of a scaling and stuff. If you want to add finer details and smaller sort of uh, stuff, you can also add additional uh, edges to your curve to make it a little bit finer. And in that way, you can uh, attach smaller pieces into it. So for this example, I'm just going to be attaching this uh, big cylinder right here to this uh, curve. So I think uh, this is uh, good enough. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Rotate it a little bit. Let's scale this down a little bit. Try to uh, match it as closely as you can because it is uh, a very crucial step. It's going to create uh, better results if you do it properly. So I think it's good enough. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up, the shape right here. I'm going to change my shading mode back to the shaded mode. I'm going to get, head over to edge mode. I'm going to add uh, an edge loop right in the center right here to uh, follow this uh, seam right here. I'm going to add a couple of more to uh, isolate this cylinder right here. And uh, that way we can just snap the vertices once we do the union operation. So I think that's it. I'm going to add a boolean. I'm going to move this to the top because you never want to uh, do the subdivision first and that operation uh, after that uh, subdivision should always be last. So yeah, I'm going to head over to union mode. I'm going to select the object, which is the cylinder right here. I'm going to uh, hide the cylinder right here and uh, I'm not just going to apply this. So there you go. What you want to do now is you can uh, head over to British mode and by the, using shortcut Alt plus Z, you can head over to uh, X-ray mode. And what you want to do now is you can just select these edges right here, click on M, and do a merge of them. Uh, you can, it should be, uh, you should do the same for all these vertices right here and attach them like that. So go ahead and do that uh, one by one to uh, all these. Uh, you can do a collapse right at the center. I'm just going to do the center. Uh, there you go. Uh, you can just uh, do this to click this and do. Uh, another merge right here, and you can also get rid of these additional unnecessary vertices uh, right here. You can control plus uh, control using uh, shortcut control plus X, and that's just going to dissolve the vertices. Uh, I'm going to do this the same, uh, the same for this one as well, and I think uh, that's it. There you go. I have attached this to the shape right here. What you want to do now is you can also isolate this further by adding a couple of uh, edge loops along the edge flow of the shape right here. You can should always be going along uh, the edge flow of the curve. You should never add uh, additional edges uh, along the curve because uh, that's going to ruin your 
curvature once you do a subdivision service. Uh, it's going to sharpen it up and it's going to create bad results. If you want uh, additional edges right here, you can just uh, do that at, uh, for, at the beginning of the process and then you can do all these uh, after that. But never uh, add uh, additional uh, edge loops uh, after you've established uh, your curvature because that's going to create uh, bad results and uh, shading artifacts. So I have uh, attached this here. I'm going to do some uh, add an edge loop right here, tie this up. I'm going to also uh, uh, enable the preview right here to see how this looks. Okay, I'm going to add a couple of uh, edge loops right here. First thing first, I'm just going ri to right-click and shade smooth so, uh, to see how this looks. Uh, I think it's uh, pretty good. I'm going to get rid of this uh, polygon right here, delete it, and I'm going to select this and head over to a uh, face, uh, face uh, mode right here and do a grid fill. It's going to quantify the face and it's going to create this nice little topology right here. You can also do an inset and just do an extrusion. You can add additional uh, supporting edges right here. You can also do an a creasing a bit on this to tighten this up uh, even further and uh, get um, your desired results uh, with that as well. So I think that's it for today's tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show you how I got that. You can just I just uh, added a, a mirror along the x uh, axis and I did a bisect on it and I got that. So. Yeah, I hope uh, you guys learned some new and got uh, val uh, some value out of this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching and take care.